Yo, so quick little video here on the Chevy Sonic. Although this video goes for all LUB and LUJ engines, you know, as for the Chevy Trax and the Chevy Cruze, you know, uh, everybody has been having a lot of cooling system problems. We have uh, a ton of cracked tanks. This one was the factory one, it, it's cracked. Now I got the new one. So this is an easy and simple fix. So it involves changing your thermostat to a lower temperature one because these engines run so hot and at such high pressure that the plastics cannot take it. And it cracks hose, it cracks the connectors, it cracks the reservoir, it cracks everything. This easy and simple fix involves changing the cap. This is the original one. This one is 20 PSI and the one I, I'm having here is 15 PSI. This is the part number. I, I bought it for a Chevrolet Equinox, I believe. It's 2005, I don't quite remember. I'll put it in the description below. But that's just one piece, the cap. The other thing is the thermostat and I'm gonna tell you all about it right now right so we have these two thermostats here and as you can see they are pretty similar I would say they're pretty much identical save for this little um, hose plug right here but um, as far as the internals they are the same so this one is also colder this is like about 85 degrees celsius and this is like about 105 so we are gonna swap the internals so we can get our thermostat running with a colder temperature so we're gonna start uh, with our donor which is a dorman thermostat this one is for the i believe it's for the cadillac elr and the chevy bolt so we're gonna take this little piece out like so grab it firmly push down and twist now be careful because this spring is quite heavy so now you have that out you can just slide this right out of there now be careful because you have two little pins there that go inside the housing Right, so now we have everything we need from this donor, uh, get rid of it, and let's do the same for our Chevy Sonic thermostat, right, grab it firmly, yep. push the twist, now this spring is way heavier, so let's keep it there, and let's take the internals. And that's it as you can see these both are pretty much identical just this one is a little colder than this so we're going to put that there and now we have a colder thermostat and just make sure you line up the the little pins in there it doesn't matter which way they go it's just a little resistor there. Just make sure it goes all the way in. And that's it. Now you place the spring in there. Very carefully. Twist it a little bit. And there you go. Now you have a colder Chevy and Cruise thermostat. Sorry guys, I meant the Chevy Sonic and the last bit, as well as the Chevy Cruise and Chevrolet tracks. I got my little cheat uh, cheat sheet here. The original temp the original thermostat is designed to run at 221 uh, Fahrenheit, which is Way too hot is above the boiling point of water, as you can see. 
The dormant thermostat is designed to open at 185, so it is much, much lower and it prevents all that pressure build up in the, the whole system. Now, on my testing, I, I've seen the temperatures go from 81 degrees uh, Celsius, that's 178 Fahrenheit in the highway. And when I get to heavy traffic or park or something, I go all the way to 195 uh, Fahrenheit. So as you can see, this is not that much. It's, it is not really above the boiling point of water so the pressures inside the cooling system are gonna be way lower okay, guys so there you have it this is the colder thermostat mod and um, well some people may uh, say that uh, the thermostat is controlled by the ecu uh, well this is true but the ecu can only open the thermostat but since the thermostat is going to open uh, from 185 degrees uh, it won't even reach the 221 that the ECU is designed to to open the thermostat at. So it it, it doesn't even matter. The ECU won't even care, and you're gonna be running uh, much less temperature, much less pressure, and much less stress on your plastics and your cooling system. So I hope you enjoy this mod, and have a nice day.